Hi kids, Pastor Dave here. I'm at the church building getting ready for stars tonight. It's Wednesday, October the 6th. And if you can't be here tonight, I wanted to be sure you had a chance to have a video that tells you some of the same things we'll be talking about at the church tonight, okay? Tonight we're gonna to be talking about praying. Do you know how to pray? I'll bet you do. I'll bet your mom and dad are teaching you how to pray. Maybe you pray with your family before mealtimes. That's a good thing to do. I hope so, because every time we eat, we should be reminded, I'm thankful that God has provided what I need. So we say, thank you, God, for giving us this food. Thank you for my home. Thank you for my family. It's also a time where we remember people who maybe don't have enough to eat today. So we're thankful, but we're also watchful because we want to be watching and be thinking, God, would you please take care of other people? And then we also want to be ready to answer that prayer. Maybe God will open our eyes and show us someone we can help. So praying is so important. Maybe you pray before you go to bed each night. That's a good thing to do. You say, Lord, thank you for this day that I've had. Keep me safe while I'm sleeping. Thank you for my family. Amen. That's a good thing to do. So let's start with the word pray. Can you spell it? What's the first letter? P. That's right. We're going to start with P. And the second letter is what? R. Pr and pray. What's the next letter? It's just like it sounds. Pray. And the last letter is Y. And I like this one in the word pray because it almost looks like somebody raising their arms, right? When they pray. So here's a way to think of all the different ways to pray and the importance of prayer. The first letter, P, we're going to make a word praise. Because we start our prayers with saying, thank you, God. Thank you. I praise you for being good. I praise you for loving me. I praise you for your greatness. You are the creator. Anything that we can thank God for and give him glory for, we start with that. We praise him. The next letter is R. And the word we have for that is repent. Do you know what that means? It's kind of a hard word, but listen, it's not that hard to understand. When we repent, we recognize when we've made a mistake. So say that I did something wrong today. Maybe I said the wrong thing or did the wrong thing. When I repent, I tell God, God, I understand that that thing I did or that thing I said, I understand that was wrong. And God, I ask you to forgive me. And more than that, God, I ask you to change me. Help me to turn away from that and turn toward the kind of life you want me to live. So to repent means to say, I'm sorry, and I want to do things your way, God. So the R stands for repent. The A stands for ask. Are there things that you need in your life? Isn't it good that we can ask God? Jesus said, when you pray, ask, tell God what you need. So it's a wonderful thing. Are you worried about something? Ask God to calm you. Do you need something? Ask God to provide. So ask, that's what the A stands for. And Y means yield. Now that might not be a word that you kids use very much, but it's a word you're gonna learn in your life. And all it means is this, when you yield, you give in to it. So when we yield ourselves to God, we say, God, I want to give in to you. I surrender to you. I want to do things your way. So kids, when you pray, think about these things. I want to praise God. I want to repent. I want to ask. And I want to yield. I want to give in. All right? That's what we're talking about at STARS tonight. I hope you'll talk about this more with your mom and dad at home. All right, kids. Thanks for watching.